Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So use our newfound technique of integration to work out the formula for, for, for volume of a cylinder. So all that you're given here is a, is a straight line, y equals r. So from this, from this line, you can, um, you can create a cylinder by, by rotating it, by rotating it all the way through. Okay, so, um, so, so, so from that straight line, uh, from, from the straight line of y, y equals r, we can, uh, we, we, we can sum up all the uh, all the disks okay so so well anyway we, we, we know that the volume of this will be uh, will be well from here to here is r we know that the volume will be pi r squared that would be the area here and then we we would drag it all the way through from uh, from zero to to capital l we, we know the volume will be pi r squared over cap, uh, times capital l um, but but use a newfound technique to show to show that it, it is consistent. We can use we can use integration to come up with um, with a formula for for this cylinder here, and it should be this. But just check it anyway. Okay. So all that you're given here is this uh, this line here. Come up with a formula for for the volume of the cylinder. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this here, if you um, if you if if you uh, look at the first disc here, uh, you, you need to get the height here. Well, the height here is r. So so for this disc here, it would be um, well the the height here is r. So it would be pi the height which is r and then squared. So that will give you the area. Okay. So so uh, so that would then give you that would then give you this area here. Okay. And and don't forget you you need to integrate it from zero to capital L here. If you look at the if you look at this height here, let, let's say one x is here. If you look at this disc here, if, if you look at this disc here, um, it will be the same. The height here will be r because it's, 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 a, it's a constant here. It's an r. Um, so, so the height here will be r. So, so for this disc here, it will still be pi r squared. So because it's constant, um, well, the, the, uh, the area will be this here. Okay, and then and then drag it from zero to h. So uh, so drag it from zero to capital H here. Okay. So the volume is given by given by this. And don't forget r in this case is is a constant. It's, it doesn't change. It is it is the x that's changing. It is the x that's changing. R is just a constant. In our scenario, r is a const, constant. Once we've set this problem, r has been cemented. It's a constant. Okay. So hang on. So uh, so 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 remember, pi is a constant. In our scenario, r is a constant here. It has been cemented once a problem has been set. It is the x that's changing about. So um, so when you integrate this, this is really a constant. So when you integrate it, it will be a constant, and then uh, and then times times the uh, the x here. So um, hang on. So. So integrate this. Don't forget this whole thing here is a constant. Integrate it. It will be a constant times x. So now eval evaluate this. So it will be this. Take away this, which will give you this. So the volume of um, of a cylinder is given by this, which we well, by the the whole point of this exercise is really to um to confirm that our our newfound method of integration. Is consistent with, with the volume of this cylinder. Okay. Well, anyway, the volume is given by by uh, by this.